Well, two witnesses took the stand today in the Ian Cranston murder trial before the first recess even. Tyler Smith, a friend of Ian Cranston, shared his recollection of the events leading to the shooting death of Barry Washington Jr. on September 19th of last year. Smith said he got between Washington and Cranston ready to fight with adrenaline pumping after Cranston was hit in the head by Washington. Ben Police Detective Camille Christensen also took the witness stand, stating her personal observations of Cranston's demeanor that night and the interactions she had with him. Was the defendant informed that Barry Washington had died? Yes. Okay. And what was his response when he received that information? Um, his response was he just kind of, kind of slumped down his shoulders and um, Kind of swung his head, you know, back, and uh, appeared to be upset. And Mr. Washington, I a motion to you uh, that he got a rock. Mm -hmm. That he had a knife. Mm -hmm. That he had a gun. Mm -hmm. The other threatened to kill you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Swart asked you if you were in fear for your life uh, for Mr. Washington. You said that. Is that right? Ask you if you're in fear that Mr. Washington would seriously physically injure you if he kept on punching you. Was that a fear that you have? Yes. Your size and fighting ability. Um, how successful do you think you would have been um, fighting back against Mr. Washington? Do you understand what's your speculation? This afternoon, the state called an expert who created a 3D model of downtown Bend and the crime scene. 